sets in the muddy water. <laughs> you are back? I was asking you about the prostitution. Yeah. Would you like to continue that conversation? So you you told me that prostitution is bad. And you you express that whoever encourages you to do prostitution, whoever encourages you to do prostitution, you wouldn't follow their exa example or advice, correct? I remember the verse, you're going to bring up the verse. Yeah, tell me the verse. Uh, pay, pay them the, uh, their sum. Pay them their, their sum. So who are they? Who are they? Uh, the woman you marry. Does it say the woman you are married? Okay, bring it up. No, no, you show me. You, you said you, you remember. You said you remember it. If you don't remember it, it's absolutely fine. Okay, I open it up. Okay. So, do you remember it or you don't? Bring it up. Do you remember no, it or no, you don't? don't? You don't remember it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Next time, don't lie. Okay, my bad. Apologize for lying. And also forbidden to you are all married women, except those right hand possess. So you can't have sex with the married woman, but you can have sex. But you can have sex. Yeah, okay, you're doing that for money. All of that for money. We know that. We know that. Police is over there. Why don't you go to the police and then tell them I am terrorist? Why? Why don't you follow the law of the man? Go and tell the police. Go and tell the police. That's enough. Because you know you are lying. No, because you are a lawyer. Because you know you are lying. No, I'm lying. You are lying. You've got beautiful lying face. You've got, you've got beautiful lying face. So, and also forbidden to you are all married women, except those your right hand possess. So, you can have sex with a married woman who you captive, who you, um, who you captive from the war. Is that okay so far? Yeah, you're reading it right. Is that okay so far? What? Is it all right to have sex with a married woman? Have sex with a married woman? What do you mean? You married her? No, someone else is married to a woman. You are having sex with her. No, you can't. But I just read the verse to you. Yeah, if she's a captain. But doesn't matter. She's still married. What? Did you say that if she's a captain? But she's still married. Her husband is there. She's still married. Okay. Is that okay? It's a, what's it is it, it's so okay. is it all right? Is it all right to someone to have sex with your mom? Because your mom, your mom is still married. Your mom is still married. She's been she's been taken captive in a war. Is that all right? <laughs> My mom is not married. Is it all right for someone to captive your mom? And she's married, and then have sex with your mom in front of her husband. It's not right. Is, is, is it right or not? Not right. So, in that case, first part of the Surah 4, verse 24, you are disagreeing with that. Correct? So, correct? So, you are disagreeing what Allah is saying in Surah 4, in Surah 4, verse 24, first sentence. I want to talk about Yeah, yeah, we are coming to that. We are coming to that. So, so far, you are agree you are disagreeing with the word of Allah that you shouldn't have sex with a married woman. Yeah, you shouldn't. Sorry, you shouldn't. Allah is a lie. Allah is a bad guy. He's bad, bad guy. This is the decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are you are all beyond this. That you seek them with your property, desiring chastity not unlawful sexual intercourse. So, for whatever you enjoy, whatever you enjoy from them, give their due, thank you, give their due of money. Surah 424. Thank you, sorry. Four twenty four. We got so much to do, but it costs me money.
Okay, which translation are you doing? I'm reading Sahih International, but whatever you have, do you have Arabic? What do you have? I've got Sahih International. Sahih what? Sahih International. Whatever, which one you have? Yeah, Sahih International, yeah? Yeah. Which one do you have? Yeah, I'm trying to get the Sahih International one. No, you can get other one, it's absolutely fine. No, I want to read your one. I can. It's not my one, it's Muslim one. No, the one you have, not your okay. one as in your one. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, start from the beginning. 424, yeah? 24. I read the first part to you. Okay. I you disagreed with the first and, part. And also prohibited you are all married women except those they are right hand possessive. So that means you can have sex with the married woman. This, uh, this is the criminal of okay, I know. Okay, unlawful to you are ordered beyond these, provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, desiring chastity and not unlawful sexual intercourse. So whatever you enjoy of marriage, of marriage from them, give them their due compensation and an obligation. And there is no blame upon you for you mutually agree to be on the obligation. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, carry on. I read it for you. Tell me. Tell me, okay. what, what is it you are paying them? Okay, where does it say What here? is it you are enjoying from them and then marriage. paying for it? Marriage. Where does it say marriage? Okay. Where is the Arabic so, word okay. zawaj there? So, Can you point out the Arabic word zawaj to me? It's not necessarily or only zawaj means marriage. Like when you say and married... Let me, let me read you something. This will help you to understand the context. No, said, uh, can read Arabic. Yeah, yeah, so find the zawaj and then I'm going to read you something, okay? So listen this one. Some of the companions of an apostle were reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands who were unbelievers. So Allah, Allah the Exalted sent down the Quranic verse and all married women are to you, unto you, save those whom your right hand possess. This is to say they are lawful to them when they complete their waiting period. So the, the, the thing you disagree that having sex with your mom in front of her husband is actually Islamic. Now, make your point. Okay, um, you said, okay, we're talking about marriage here, yes? We're not talking about... We are talking about nikah, prostitution. Uh, okay, yeah? So he has said... Um, Where is the Arabic word zawaj is used? No, you seek them in marriage. No. Yeah, that you seek them. Yeah. In marriage. No, no. Where is where is it? Marriage is in parentheses. It's in Arabic. Yeah, but let me. It's not in Arabic. Something. Let me explain something yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. The Quran has got a format. When it's speaking about stuff, that, there, there doesn't have to necessarily be a word, like you said, a specific word to explain this, a specific situation. Islam, some ayat, uh, yeah, some verses, you, you understand them through a context. Here, with the tafsir and with the knowledge of women that understand Arabic, the shuyukh and stuff, they found out from this area that is talking about the context of getting married, marriage. So There's nothing to do with prostitution. Here is, is saying when you come forward to a woman with the intention of marriage. Okay, yeah. so I am afraid to tell you, I am, I am afraid to tell you, yeah. Um, your Allah is very much disappointed you by by you right now right. because the way you butchered because of the it's not funny yeah, Allah is disappointed is. by you yeah. and you are laughing at that okay. because the way because the way yeah. you butchered what the verse is saying you eat so first of all first of all word of Allah is well explained well detailed according to you Allah is supposed to be word of Allah yeah. is well detailed well explained. Yes. Allah is supposed to be the best communicator, yeah. but Allah fails to use the word zawaj there for the marriage, but Allah uses the word nikah, which is only used in the context of sexual intercourse. Okay? And then it talks about, and then it talks about, and then it talks about, and, and also forbidden to you are all nikah, except sexual intercourse. Right. Except those your right hand possess. And then you move on, it says, oh, with those your right hand possess, what you do with them, you pay them the pleasure for the pleasure you receive from them.
So what kind of pleasure you receive from your wife? Is that because she washes your socks? Or is that because you have sex with her and then you pay for her? According to Islamic tradition, okay, this verse is linked with something called muta. Muta is prostitution. And you said prostitution is ugly in any form or any shape. But now, you are, that's what your Allah is ordering. You're using the English translation, but when I give you English translation, exactly. you're saying it's not a show me, the, show me the in Arabic where it is talking about marriage and that giving your no, wife no, to no, dowry. Where does it say to give your wife to dowry? Here, the context is saying. Where did you get the context? Yeah, yeah. No, it's that's not the context. That's the verse. That's the verse. That's not the context. I gave you the background of the verse. Yeah. I gave you the background of the verse. Yeah. So that doesn't link with the bottom, what is the background. So, breathe out. Okay, there's a right translation or not? Mr. Muslim, mm. breathe out, breathe in, relax, pull yourself together, give me proper answer. Ready? Yeah. Give me your answer. Okay. I just said it. Are you using the translation, the English translation? I'm using the English translation. You accept it? Not uh, perfect, but yes. So you don't accept the English translation perfectly, but yes. Yeah. But you're still using it in order for you to because, make Because I live, I live in England, yeah. people speak here in English. Okay. There are some people who's got second language, yeah. and there are some protected group who is trying to force their language into this country. That's okay. different matter. Okay. So, if the verse is saying to you, yeah. marriage, yeah. be kind enough, yeah. because in the translation it is in parentheses, that means, it is, not, that means it is not in the Arabic, that means it is not in the Arabic. Like said, if it is talking about the marriage, please point me the Arabic word zawaj there, as well as, as well as, context, oh, it's not there. Okay, context, it's not there. But the context is there. The context is speaking about marriage. How did you come to that, that conclusion? Sorry? How did you come to how did you come how did they come to that conclusion? Okay, who, who understands the Quran the best? Muhammad. And his and his uh, Sahaba, the people that, uh, that follow them. So I'll tell you so what they spoke Arabic, yeah? Muhammad and Sahabas, okay? Yeah, they, they spoke Arabic. So Muhammad is your best scholar ever. Of course, yeah. After Muhammad, you've got the Sahaba. The Sahaba, the okay? Muslims, the Sahaba. Yeah. So listen, yeah. listen. This is what what Sahabas are asking your best scholar Muhammad. Yeah. Okay, listen. Don't Some of them. Because I don't have the references. What was the Abu Dawud, Abu Dawud 2150. Abu Dawud. Some of the companions of the apostles of Allah. Sorry. Some of Abu the companions. Abu Dawud 2150. 2115. 215050. Some of the companions of Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have sexual intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husband, who were unbelievers. Look, even the companions of Muhammad are much better than Allah and Muhammad. So they went to Muhammad, they said, so Allah exalted, sent down the Quranic verse, and all married women, Unto you, save those whom your right hand possess. This is to say, they were lawful for them. Is there, is there hadith, uh, is it, is Dawood, Dawood, 2150. I think so, it's here. Okay, what website is it? Okay, where does it say Sahih? Sahih. Okay, what website is this? This is the uh, screenshot for, for the hadith. Who made the grading? You know who made the grading? Oh, so that, that, that's going to change it? Yeah, of course. That's going to change it. Okay. Well, it depends. No, because okay. give I want to the, the understand the hadith. Give me the, give, me the back, give me the background. What was happening when Surah 424 came? The, the yeah, so what was happening? So thank you first of all saying nikah one, not the zawaj one. Nikah, so, zawaj, same thing. They are not the same yes, thing. Yes. They are not the same nikah, thing. Nikah, zawaj, same. They are not the same thing. You're so, playing with the words. Give me the, the, same thing? Give me the, give me the background for the 424. Verse 424? Yeah. I don't need to give you the context. You know why? The Sahaba already gave it in the tafsir. Yeah, I read it to you. Yeah. And in that context it's saying you can have sex yeah. with the woman yeah. whose husband is there in front of them. That's what it is okay. saying. 
But you, we're talking about prostitution. We're yeah, about and then and then it says pay them whatever you enjoy them, pay them That's for it. It's not about the marriage, people. That you're it's not marry. about the marriage. Where it says marriage. I showed you in the context. No. Yeah, of marriage. No, yeah. that's in parentheses. You enjoy of marriage. No, it's nikah. Yeah, but the parentheses. So what do you enjoy? Okay, context. okay. Let's let's put in practice. Let's say it's marriage. Okay? Yeah, it's marriage. okay. So you are paying. When you come you are home, listen, you listen, marriage. listen, listen. You are having sex. You are having sex, this married woman in front of her husband. No, no, it, that's a, diff that's a different section. No, 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 it's the same, same surah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, the the same, same, it's the same area, not surah. Area. Say it, area, not surah. It's the same verse. Okay. Yeah, same verse, yes. So, identifying who are those women, okay? So, the woman who you captive, yeah. you take captive, yeah. you are allowed to have sex in fr with them in front of their husband while your husband is alive you are and standing there yeah. you are having sex with them and if you identify that as a marriage okay what is it you are enjoying get, from that if you are identifying that as a marriage okay what is it that you are enjoying that you need to pay for the pleasure you receive is that because your wife the one who you just had sex in front of her husband washed your sock Okay, oh, I'm not talking because about captive, I'm talking to normal human, human being, human being, everyday life. Why are you talking about captive? Get me the verse about normal interaction to everyday There's no, there's no captive right now, right? Captive don't exist. I don't know why you're giving me a verse about captive. Talk to me, give me the context between normal, everyday life. Sorry, how old are you? Man, huh? How old are you? Over 20, under 20? Yeah, over 20. Over 20. And I, I am assuming that you are British. And I am already disappointed as a British person. And do you think that's funny? You have zero problem that your prophet is telling you you can have sex with married women in front of their husband. No, I never said that. I just read it to you. Your but prophet I'm, said, no, and then your prophet verse. said, this is what Allah says. And we, then we he came, goes on, he goes too. on, and then he says, yeah. you have sex with them, yeah. and then you pay for it. You pay for the pleasure uh, you receive. Yeah, this, yeah. And it goes... Sorry? You, you keep talking about captives. I'm not talking about captives. It's in Islam. It's not a situation which is... Which is it's in Islam. Which is it's in Islam. Right it's in Islam. It's, it happened in the time of Muhammad. Yeah, no, that Muhammad, no. Sorry? Tell me about situation Someone now. had sex next to their wives. So people, have, there were women, and their husband were with them. Muslim men didn't want to have sex with them because their husbands were there. They thought, oh, this is just ugly. Allah and Muhammad says, no, you can have sex with them while their husband is there. Sorry? Where are you getting this information from? So Abu Dawood 2150 for the background of Surah 424. I've never heard of it. I'm sorry you I've never heard of it. And heard. in that case, welcome to Speaker's Corner. You heard something new.